Hi everyone, it's Angel here. I hope that you're all blessed with a grace to see how many things we can be grateful for in our lives, for the gift of life and for the gift of the presence of God in our, in our midst, in our hearts. Um, the last video that I did from the Catechism of the Catholic Church was number um, 144, from 144, and the title was I Believe. And today I continue from Article 2, and the title is We Believe. And this is from number 166. Faith is a personal act, the free response of the human person to the initiative of God who reveals himself. But faith is not an isolated act. No one can believe alone, just as no one can live alone. You have not given yourself faith as you have not given yourself life. The believer has received faith from others and should hand it on to others. Our love for Jesus and for our neighbor impels us to speak to others about our faith. Each believer is thus a link in the great chain of believers. I cannot believe without being carried by the faith of others, and by my faith I help support others in the faith. So we are a family, we are children of God, and we are a family. All, all of us who have received the life of God through baptism, uh, we are part of a beautiful family. First of all, the family of the Most Holy Trinity who lives in us, and we are beautifully connected to all of our brothers and sisters in faith. Uh, I continue from number 168. Lord, look upon the faith of your church. It is the church that believes first, and so bears, nourishes, and sustains my faith. Everywhere, it is the church that first confesses the Lord. Throughout the world, the Holy Church acclaims you, as we sing in the hymn Te Deum. With her and in her, we are won over and brought to confess, I believe, we believe. It is through the church that we receive faith and new life in Christ by baptism. So through the sacraments, through the, the anointed priests, we are given the gift of faith, of grace. And the very life of God is, is in us. Number 169. Salvation comes from God alone, but because we receive the faith, the life of faith through the church, she is our mother. We believe the church as the mother of our new birth and not in the church as if she were the author of our salvation. Because she is our mother, she is also our teacher in the faith. So we say often, uh, our Holy Mother Church. Because the church is our mother who gave birth to us in the spirit and nourishes us through the sacraments throughout our lives. Number 170, the language of faith. We do not believe in formulas, but in those realities they express, which faith allows us to touch. The believer's act of faith does not determine it does not terminate in the propositions, but in the realities which they express. All the same, we do approach these realities with the help of formulations of the faith, which permit us to express the faith and to hand it on, to celebrate it in community, to assimilate, assimilate and live on it more and more. Number 172, only one faith. Through the centuries, in so many languages, cultures, peoples, and nations, the Church has constantly confessed 
this one faith, received from the one Lord, transmitted by one baptism, and grounded in the conviction that all people have only one God and Father. Saint Irenaeus of Lyon, a witness of this faith, declared, Indeed, the Church, though scattered throughout the whole world, even to the ends of the earth, having received the faith from the apostles and their disciples, guards with care, as dwelling in but a single house, and similarly believes as if having but one soul and a single heart, and preaches, teaches, and hands on this faith with an, a unanimous voice, as if possessing only one mouth. So we are one heart, one soul, one body in Christ. Number 174, for though languages differ throughout the world, the content of the tradition is one and the same. The churches established in Germany have no other faith or tradition, nor do those of the Iberians, nor those of the Celts, nor those of the east of Egypt, of Libya, nor those established at the center of the world. The church's message is true and solid, in which one and the same way of salvation appears throughout the whole world. Number 175, we guard with care the faith that we have received from the church, for without ceasing, under the action of God's Spirit, this deposit of great price, as if in an excellent vessel, is constantly being renewed and causes the very vessel that contains it to be renewed. So the church is a vessel. We are all living stones. Uh, our bodies are the vessel, vessels of God and his grace, his presence, his Holy Spirit. And then here um, is the Apostles' Creed and also the Nicene Creed. And I really love the Nicene Creed. It's, it's my favorite from the both because there's just so much more detail and I would like to read it. This is, this is our faith. This is what we believe. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen, we believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, one in being with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered, died, and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. How wonderful it is and cons a huge consolation to know that we are never alone. We are all connected through the Holy Spirit, through Jesus.